BR-294 started life as a DB class V-90 for DBAG and wasn't turned into the 290 class till after 1968. The class was built for two reasons, yard shunting and freight hauling and have yet to stray away from their purpose in their lifetime. They stemmed from a need for a heavy shunting locomotive. It was originally planned to create a heavy shunting variant of the V100, ballasted with reinforced frame, to be produced, but this not, did not come to pass due to the design stability problems. Maschinenbau Kehl, in cooperation with BZA München, designed the longer and heavier locomotive of a completely new design. In 1964, a pilot production of 20 of these were manufactured with a 1,100 horsepower or 820 kilowatt engine used in the DB class V100.1 and a 70 km per hour top speed. In 1974, the first locomotive of the main production was produced. These locomotives had the 1,350 horsepower or 1,000 10 kilowatt engine used in the DB class V100.2 and a top speed of 80 kilometers an hour. The length of the locomotive was also extended by 14.32 meters. By 1974, 408 had been built by MAK, Deutsch, Henschel, and Jung. For safety, the locomotives were fitted with dead man's vigilance devices and inductive train control systems. Since 2003, the locomotives have been upgraded with new 1,100 kilowatt motors as well as upgraded hydraulic drives. Despite being a higher rated engine, the modernized locomotives actually save fuel. That's the history lesson out of the way. Now to compare the simulator locomotive with her real life counterpart. Initially, things look good. Comparing the game model to images of the real deal, we see that the game devs were looking at similar images when they were designing them. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any images of the cab, but this is what I would imagine it to look like. Simple, yet effective. According to resources, the top speed should be 80 kilometers an hour. Let's give that a test. For the test, I'm going to be in cab view the entire time, just to, uh... Well, we can use this actually as another test. Where's the speedo on this sucker? I don't see a speedo. Oh, unless... No, that's not it. Ugh! Charman! Oish! Once we get out onto the main line, we can open the taps. How is the driver supposed to understand where the how fast he's freaking going in this thing? Aside from the HUD. And that's a better question. Are we talking is this that's mm, shit. <laughs> Okay, this looks to be the f as fast as it's going to go, despite me not being able to find a single speedometer in this entire cab, so I can tell whether we're going in... Oh, there it is. Alright, yeah, that's 80 kilometers an hour, or as the thing says here, 54.6 miles per hour, which is matching its top speed according to the wiki give or take a couple miles so that passes that test and to be honest I can't think of anything else that we can compare for this whether or not it's a good buy I'm gonna be honest here I didn't 
have to buy it. I'm not sure. I think I read somewhere that it changed, but uh, when I bought this as Railworks Train Simulator 2012, that's how long I've had this, uh, it was a default diesel engine that came with the pack. Nowadays, I think you have. To, I think I read somewhere you have to buy every single engine that you want individually. I don't know, but this is a decent enough diesel engine. Works for what it was designed for, and they matched it pretty much as I can tell to the real thing. Ah, so, <laughs> if you don't have it, I'd say if you need a shunter, I'd say get it. It's definitely one of my favorite looking diesels out of the ones that I got. Anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little history lesson on the BR-294s, and I hope you look forward to the next video. Thanks for watching.